Yeah. Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Partly cloudy today, a slight warm up to 42. It's about 35, maybe 36 in a cloudy downtown GR. A lot of different things going on here to cover. First of all, let's get this going because this is a great opportunity for you. Callers number five and seven at 770 WGRD or 1 800 947 3979. It is a massive million Monday. Okay? You got a chance to win. Callers five and seven are each going to get $50 worth of gifts galore, instant win tickets. You could win up to $30,000, over $12 million in total cash prizes available. All of the info, as always, at michiganlottery.com. 18 or over to win the Michigan Lottery. Put some play in your day. All right, let's start with uh, some scary news that ended up being okay. Yeah. And then we'll get to the somewhat nebulous breaking news about downtown development that may or may not be happening. This is definitely more reliable than Mystery Project okay. because of the people that are involved. But um, not as fun. But no, not sure as got fun. got a lot of fun out of Mystery Project. I've got a press release that's going to set off some crazy speculation. There is a there's an actual press release from a press release saying that an uh there was a news release that came out today that the group will present findings about certain things and there is word from sources that speculates that gives people reason to speculate towards certain things. We'll cover that in a moment. That's okay. Next, we're learning about what passengers say was just a harrowing experience on board an American Airlines flight from Grand Rapids to Chicago. Part of the plane began to crumble inside the passenger cabin, forcing an emergency landing. And the plane safely returned to the Ford, all the while one passenger said he was praying, not knowing what was happening, fearing the plane might crash. Pictures captured as the emergency unfolded. Whoa. An obviously damaged cabin, pieces crumbled in the seats, and the face of an apparently stunned flight attendant. Whoa, One man. of the passengers on the Monday evening flight was this Who man, Peter Pat. Pan, speaking what? to us Is from it his Peter Pan. They yes. did. Destination in Arkansas online. Well, it was kind of. Terrifying experience for us. Pan says the flight crew gave no explanation as to what happened beyond the fact that they were returning to Grand Rapids for an emergency. This map. I'll from tell you flight exactly what 20- happened. Someone touched a rivet on the outside of the plane, weakened it just yeah. enough to crush the inside. Yeah, got some, got some nose grease on that, there, was, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It was just a little. That thing was, it was pretty banged up on the inside. Yeah, yeah. it was. I, mean, it, you'd, I would freak out. Four shows the flight's course, leaving from the Ford and turning around near Zealand. American Airlines says a panel on the inside of the plane came dislodged. A spokesperson told us late this afternoon that the passengers were not in any danger. While this sounds benign, it was nothing of the sort for unknowing passengers flying 8,000 feet in the sky. Dude, it looks like it's imploded. It yeah. doesn't look yeah. like a panel came loose. No. That's not what it looks like. Yeah, it looks all bent and oh, weird. It's no big deal. Well, then just fly to Chicago or fly to wherever you were going. No big deal. And that. Yeah, but they won't even let you have a laptop a phone- on, on you. Right. You know yeah, they're not right. going to let a loose panel be flying around. ...of the actual plane involved. The FAA says it was manufactured in 2001. Penn is from Africa and says he's flown a lot and seen a lot. But nothing that scared yeah, him been quite as much <laughs> as this. I said, I said to myself that this, form, this is probably the closest thing to death. Now, Pan told us that the airline offered nothing to compensate the passengers for what happened. We did get a hold of airline representatives today. They told us they would be reaching out to passengers, including Pan, to try to make sure things are right. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that right. Once it gets on the news, then you offer something. No, I, I have crumb. If my plane starts imploding and I have crumbles on me from the uh, interior, give yeah. me some tickets yeah. now. I want at least uh, yeah, at least uh, some extra cookies. Coupon for the food court in Chicago. Yeah. Something. Uh, so from WZZM headline: Grand Rapids DeVos Place expansion announcement expected today at noon. Okay, that is when the press conference will be. From uh, a, a major announcement is expected to come at the Economic Club of Grand Rapids. Grand Action sent a news release this morning saying the group will present findings of the Grand Rapids Destination Asset Study, a report that charts a course to elevate Grand Rapids as a top tour destination. Reading from ZZM, it says there is word from our sources that Grand Action is set to announce plans to expand DeVos Place Convention Center. Grand Action is a nonprofit organization that tries to leverage private funding for public projects. The co-chairs include 
I, I apologize if I'm saying the name wrong, John Canepa, Dick DeVos, and David Fry, Z, who are obviously people that uh, are going to get stuff done. I believe it's Deke DeVos. No, that's the one name I'm sure I'm right. Oh. Um, uh, WZZM sources say there's also going to be talk of building a new arena in Grand Rapids, trying to entice new hotels into the downtown area. And they're saying the new uh, arena could be also be part of the discussion, perhaps signaling a push to get a professional sports team in Grand Rapids. And that would, I guess, mean NBA, NHL. All right. I, what kind sounds... of an arena would they build that wouldn't compete with the arena they already have? Maybe that real estate oh, is so you valuable know that they're going to. DeVos is a little irritated that that's Van Andel. That's why. Oh, that's what oh. it is. There's been a rift. I don't think there has been. I yeah, think there, there has been. been. They, you you yeah, can't just say there has been like there has been. Why? We're just throwing no stuff out like I this said, article is. I said the words, I think. Sources. I heard a source say that. Now, people have said I mean, for years, well, maybe, maybe Richard DeVos will, will move the magic to Grand Rapids. I can't, I can't imagine. That's not happening. We're not big enough. But you know what? I just thought of where, where earlier today we were talking about, like, where would this go? What are they going to do? Well, there is legitimately what someone voted one of the top five largest wastes of yes, space. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Right, around, I, right, right yeah, by the, the river. The, that parking lot right there that nobody uses mm-hmm. and takes up a massive amount of downtown. Right. Yeah. Boy, yeah. I would hate to see a... a um, an arena. an arena there. Yeah, I actually, I, I think they should turn that into a park. I'd, li- I'd, I'd like park. to see an amphitheater like a cool or something park, like an that. An amazing park that people would actually go to mm. and walk around and run and jog in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't okay, you I, think downtown deserves one of those? Yeah. I think that would be cool. But I still say, uh, like an amphitheater, I think would be cool down there. Yes, I agree with where that. Where you could use it for an just amphitheater a, on the river. Where you would could be cool. just have it for. You know, regular seating anytime. You could just walk in and out of there. It'd be tiered and all that stuff. I think that would be very cool. Yeah, like Rosa Parks, but better. Rosa Parks. Yeah, but, but, yeah, much Rosa bigger. Parks. Yeah, Rosa Parks Circle. Yeah, it's not Rosa Park. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. We'll see at noon what the announcement is. Rage Against the Machine, 97.9 yeah. GRD Rocks.